Hello everybody, welcome back to Money Vikings Collectibles. You can see before you some Superman. Wanted to discuss some recent additions to the comic and collecting portfolio. And yes, I'm calling it a portfolio. Any respectable portfolio has a diverse set of assets. And I think the same could be applied to your comic and card collections. You have to think about it as a portfolio of assets. Sure, it's all fun stuff, but uh, you know what, kids? It's uh, it's not all fun and games because there's a lot of money out there in this stuff. So I wanted to talk about this Doomsday Clock addition to the portfolio, uh, but I first wanted to mention a couple things. Once again, it looks like the economy is getting shaky and, you know, we definitely have chances of recession here. And of course, we have some other things going on. There's the uh, awful, you know, hurricane Im information coming out of Florida. So if you're in Florida, uh, you're probably out of Florida if you were in Florida. So please stay safe and uh, everybody be uh, thinking about those folks and, and ways we can support. But with that, uh, it's a great time, I think, to start thinking about picking up assets because these are the times where asset prices are falling on real estate. Uh, equities, stocks, even bonds, and uh, a lot of money is flowing into the United States right now. The United States is seen as a safe haven, so as, um, you know, Eastern Europe gets uh, pretty bumpy there with Russia and other things, more and more money flows into United States assets. Speaking of United States assets, uh, Superman. Superman is certainly a asset of the United States. It is an iconic, world-renowned uh, superhero, Maybe Superman started the whole comic book thing. Is it possible? Is this what started modern comics? Did I, did I just make that up? Were modern comics launched with Superman, with the idea of Superman? If this Doomsday Clock stuff is really cool, so I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But first I want to talk about, so any, again, any respectable collection, Doomsday Clock is obviously a, is bringing Watchmen, the Watchmen universe, combining with the rest of the DC universe and with Superman. Very cool story came out, I think, about 2017, 2018. But any respectable comic portfolio has got to have some key Superman issues. Of course, you have Death of Superman, 75. You have Superman, Man of Steel, 19. You have this Doomsday situation where he faces off with Doomsday. Um, I liked Superman, you know, the Superman Space Age. I'm enjoying this. I think it's pretty cool. I like the art for some reason, and I like the story. Uh, mixed reviews on this one, but... You know, again, you got to collect what you like, folks. You know, uh, I got all I got all kinds of flack for liking. If I go to Magic for a second, I like I still like Baldur's Gate, and oh my gosh, Baldur's Gate's awful. Um, I like Double Masters. Uh, I've liked some of the Dominaria United stuff, but you know, everything seems to ebb and flow. One day it's up, one day it's down. One day popular opinion is that it's the greatest thing ever. The next day it sucks. So I don't know. A um, couple of key issues: Man of Steel. Number one and number two. Uh, this was, I think, this I think represented the first like relaunch number one in the in the modern era. Um, so this was obviously from the eighties. And Justice League seventy, Superman is dead. The morning after begins here. Okay, so anyway, I'd like to add more key. Superman books to the collection, and that brings me to Doomsday Clock. I love the concept here. Uh, if you've not read this, so first of all, I find this cover absolutely amazing. There's a there's a colorized version of it. I prefer this black and white one. I like this line drawing work. I like doing artwork like this. Um, I love how this is laid out. You know, he's being blown apart, obviously, by, you know, time or time or something. <clears throat> but this is this is a key series because it established the new 52. It was kind of the beginning of the DC relaunch a few years ago. This represents a sequel to The Watchmen. Um, I, I do believe that having a Watchmen number one uh, is key to, again, to a quality comic book portfolio. Um, things like this, these are like your blue chip stocks, right, of a portfolio. You know, these are your Microsofts, your Apples, your Johnson & Johnsons, okay, if you wanna make a comparison. Uh, these are like your blue chip stocks of a very strong comic book portfolio that's probably going to do pretty well over time. But anyway, Watchmen was obviously very cool. 
you know, did very well as a, as a film as well. I thought the films were great. But anyway, this, this book, the Doomsday Clock series, uh, this is number one of 12. Um, it's a really interesting dichotomy because you have, you have Superman, you know, who's an alien who has nothing but goodwill towards humanity, right? He's, he like can't even do harm because he like believes so much in the power of humanity. He's this alien. And then you have, of course, this interesting character, Dr. Manhattan, who was a human who has essentially lost all of his, uh, you know, his, what is it? His, his, he's lost all of his humanity and become this, you know, uh, nuclear device basically. So anyway, very cool book. I'm going to open it up, show you a few pages. Very cool storyline. In my opinion, I love the combination of the worlds and I just think it's a key, a key collector's item, but, uh, let's see what we can. Okay. Uh, Rorschach, of course, Rorschach, classic. Um, has that dark kind of vibe to it. This is the first one. What's going on here? Doomsday Clock, got the Joker, Batman. It's interesting. Oh, Batman is reading 1984 or something. Is that what it is? 1984. Okay, Lex, it's a cool Lex Luthor. That's a really cool Lex Luthor, I like that. Anyway, you get the idea, guys. All right, well, another key, uh, a key issue in the collection. And again, I, you know, I would be looking for those opportunities out there right now for um, investing. Um, make sure that the defenses are built up well, right? It's a time to be defensive and opportunistic if you're an investor. So uh, that is my, that's, those are my words of encouragement. And at the same time, enjoy collecting, enjoy your hobbies, and enjoy your friends and family. All right, everybody, stay safe, be positive, and uh, continue on. Take care.